What's up everyone, it's Russo. I hope everyone is doing well. Please follow my Instagram at Russo Lifts just in case something happens to this YouTube channel. You can follow, message, and you can watch my daily story content on Instagram. I'll see you there. What's up everyone, it's Russo. I hope everyone is doing well. Today I'm just gonna do a general topic video. General topic video going into intramuscular TRT injections versus subcutaneous TRT injections. And I'll have Dante throw up some NCB NCBI studies for you guys. So it's like concrete and you can look and Google them in your own time. But basically, I don't know if this rumor still goes around these days that sub -Q testosterone injections don't work or fuck up the bioavailability or they cause extra estrogen conversion because you know you're injecting the fat which causes more aromatization etc etc yeah there's a study that really dispels all that in my opinion and then when we go into my personal experience i don't really notice a difference but i do notice pip post-injection pain right so if you're doing like above 200 milligrams a week inject intramuscular right but if you're only doing hrt which is like 160 milligrams to 200 is hrt it's more in the trt category in my opinion but if you're doing around you know less than a cc then you can absolutely do sub q injections and i do sub q injections with that when i'm just cruising in between experiments chilling out and i don't really notice any drawbacks other than pip so it depends how you place it sub Q. I know you want to like not inject super deep, but I would still inject into fat super deep. And then I would inject slow. If you're just going to fucking jam it in there and try and get the thing in there as fast as possible, then you're gonna deal with a lot of inflammation, this weird red lump that everyone starts questioning you about. But if you do it super slow and if you're not using an extreme amount, I don't, I don't get any more extra estrogen conversion. I still feel it. And it's overall way better than causing scar tissues in your muscles. Although you are running the risk of abscesses and stuff as it depends on what kind of gear you're using, right? So if you're using pharma gear or if you're using gear that's actually filtered correctly, those chances are low, right? So for HRT, TRT patients from Elevate, right? You're using FDA registered testosterone in a compounding pharmacy they're going to make sure that's sterile and clean for you if you're using underground labs that aren't sterile there are great underground labs out there i'm not trying to throw them all under the bus but if you're using like one of those ones or someone from the gym who's selling you overpriced shit you might not want to inject that sub q especially if there's a lot of solvents in it because it's going to cause extreme amounts of pip and it could cause a red mark that lasts there forever. So keep that in mind, but as, as far as impacting the bioavailability or the amount of estrogen conversion, that's all been disproven and dispelled. And obviously intramuscular, when we look at medical literature is always the king so far, but the science is coming out that sub Q injections, you know, it used to be back when I started that you couldn't do sub Q injections at all. You know, back when I first started YouTube and you couldn't do any injections in the insulin syringe because it doesn't go deep enough. How the times have changed, right? How the times have changed. So if you think that you only have to inject test intramuscular and if you're just cruising and don't want to constantly be building up scar tissues in your muscle and just want your little bit of HRT in your stomach fat, it's still going to get into the bloodstream. It's not going to cause extra estrogen conversion and it's still gonna work would i put three fucking cc's in my stomach no so keep that in mind i had a guy who messaged me who put like two cc's right here and he's like it hurts so bad i thought you could do sub q it's like yeah you can do sub q you don't want to use extreme amount if you're going to use extreme amount you might as well load up a one and a half inch and put it in your ass right so Keep that in mind, but I did want to touch on this topic a little bit because, you know, people still think you can't inject sub-Q, but you can. And I have the study to prove it. I'll see you guys in my next video.